Good evening, Chatelet, everyone. This is going to be a nighttime video review in a car. Two of my favorite things, night and video reviews and cameras. This is the new Canon EOS M100. An M100 is a very, very small APS-C, Canon-style APS-C, which I think is a little smaller than uh, other people's APS-C. Uh, 332 millimeter squared compared to 370 for some of the other ones. Pretty close. It, um, it, uh, I've got a uh, 1545 lens on it, which is the Canon lens made for this camera, and uh, that equals in 135 terms uh, 24 to 72 3x zoom. So a little shorter than portrait on uh, long end, and uh, pretty good, uh, almost wide angle on the low end. And let's take a look at that lens here. We have a lens cap comes off and. It looks big. I'm not sure if that's a lens element or whatever, but it's coated, which is good. It's a lens cap. I wish this lens cap had a lens cap string, but it does not have a position for that, so I, uh, that makes it very inconvenient because I have to keep track of the lens cap. This has an unusual configuration to keep it small, and that is that uh, before you can use the lens, you have to push this little thing out and now the lens stays extended it uh, zooms uh, comes out a little bit at uh, either end of the zoom and uh, again to get a better look at that that's uh, this little switch right here has to be pushed and held to push it back in or bring it back out so we have the markings on the lens course here and uh, since I didn't bring the box with me the one th uh, major thing we're missing in the box, of course, is the uh, strap. I don't use the neck strap, but it has a beautiful neck strap. It's got all those red colors in it and everything else. So, uh, you know, if you like neck straps, comes in a nice one. I got this for 500 with the lens. Uh, the retail was six. Uh, heck of a good price. And the only reason why they're uh, selling us this uh, cheap is because they're recommending this for beginners. Supposedly people want to graduate from a smartphone. Well, that's a big graduation. I'll tell you that uh, You can do better from going from a smartphone to a 1 over 2.3 sensor Do even better a 1 over 1.7 or a 1, uh, one inch sensor uh, One inch sensor is many times bigger better than a cell phone or at least Apple cell phones and uh, This is a sensor is almost three times as big as a one inch so um uh, big advantage. I'm not going to detach that lens. I don't want to get dust on the sensor. I put a uh, wrist strap on instead of using a neck strap and I uh, carry it in a little bag. I wish I had a bag that uh, fit the camera with a shoulder strap. That would be really nice. Uh, to make this small and also to uh, market it to beginners, they've eliminated a lot of buttons that are on other cameras. We still have a review button down here and we have um, we have the screen info button here I can probably bring that up do we even have a picture on here oh no because let's see what we can do here how do we have a picture yeah we have a picture <laughs> nighttime picture overexposed uh, so the uh, review button I mean the uh, info button down here we uh, it'll change uh, the information display on the back you can uh, lock all that out so that's uh, so much for that. Then, see what else you have. I'm gonna have to turn it off so we can see. So we can see the camera. Uh, there we go now. So uh, we've got on uh, other buttons here. I wonder if I can focus on that here. Okay, going up we have a delete photo or uh, you can do the uh, you know plus minus on your exposure exposure compensation on the uh, right hand on the uh, wheel you get uh, a flash and on the left hand part is something unique I haven't seen on another camera and that is uh, to lock exposure that little star on the left there which is pretty strange I'd much rather have exposure and uh, focus locked at the same time but so far I've been able to figure out how to do that we have a menu button up here above the wheel and then uh, the wireless or whatever it is over there on the right which I don't use 
And so, so much for that wheel. Got a nice little thumb rest on here. Then we have uh, the shutter button up here and also a wheel for turning certain things. So when you do exposure compensation, you turn the wheel. When you need to enlarge a picture on a screen, you can either, it's a touch screen, so you can either use your fingers and pinch, or you can use a little wheel on here to increase that. We have the video button over here. And up here we have camera, which is basically program mode in here. And then we have the video mode down here on that wheel. And then up here we have the auto settings. So you put the auto thing on and you get all the different auto settings. There's some interesting overrides on this camera too. I can't go into them in detail, but like if you're auto, if you're on autofocus and you are focused on something, you can uh, turn the uh, focus mechanism up here and it'll override it to give you a finer focus if that's what you need. And what else do we have? We have a pop-up flash. And there's a flash pop-up button here. You can get that right. There we go. So the flash pops up. And it works. I presume. And over here we have the uh, ports. So let's see if we can pop them open here. These are a little bit clumsy to operate by hand. This one's HDMI. Well, there's HDMI and... Um, let's see if we can focus in on that. Is my light getting dim? Probably. So anyway, the um, those we got those two ports in here, and the uh, USB port for uh, connecting the camera to a computer is a mini USB, which is not micro USB. It's the uh, came out before micro USB came along. So um, it's mini USB, and that's a Canon uh, thing now. And then the other uh, port over here is um, what do we have? other side here it's not HDMI it is see if we can see that in here and that port is that's the memory card slot right there now let's get the uh, HDMI and USB open here so we can see that there we go there's a mini USB on top and then uh, yeah, whatever mini HDMI I guess on the bottom and then the uh, battery port is on the bottom. And I'm not positive yet. Let's see. If we pop open that battery port, it looks like it, there's a possibility at least that you can um, you can have your tripod stay mounted while that battery while that battery cover is open. It's gonna be a little tricky. Uh, I'd say there's Probably a half inch of room and that's about it. So you better have a pretty narrow plate on there to make that work if you want to change battery and keep the thing on the tripod. But then anyway, there's the battery in there. Pretty good battery. Uh, it seems to hold up really well uh, for daily shooting. I always carry an extra. So what else have we got here? Um, oh yes, the screen. It is an articulating screen so you can uh, flip that open. Now to, to hold the thing up really high and be able to see what you're doing, you can't push the screen away from you, so I have to turn the camera upside down and then push the screen towards me. So the pictures come out upside down that way, but it works okay. So the screen moves, and uh, like I said, it's touch screen. And uh, the photos on here, I've got them on my website, dalethorn.com, and you can go in there, click on photos, and you'll see Canon EOS M100, page one, and more as uh, more as I get more. So, uh, and this is a twist focus. I mean, a twist zoom course. Uh, there's no zoom lever in it with that, thankfully. And uh, ahead of the uh, uh, twist uh, zoom, of course, is the uh, focus. If you're on manual focus. So, I don't know. This is a really nifty camera. 500 bucks with a lens. I think it's a heck of a deal. Uh, picture quality is great, but you know, it's gonna be a little fiddly uh, compared to cameras with more buttons on them You know to be able to change some of the settings. They do have uh, a center button on here on the back is um, Combination of uh, set, you know for setting certain uh, parameters You know when you dial it up and you push that to set it, but it also brings up the quick menu and the quick menu has a bunch of things on it 
Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I get along with it just fine. So there, anyway, there's a quick first look at the EOS M100. And um, we got mine at B&H. So there we go. Thank you very much.